Hey, it's Mike Birbiglia. The poem I'm reading today is called Earth in Reverse. It was written by my wife, J. Hope Stein, for a book that we collaborated on called The New One, Painfully True Stories from a Reluctant Dad with poems by J. Hope Stein. And we actually both write quite a bit uh, in the book uh, about Earth and the environment and the world that we're living in. And the poem I'm going to read today is one of hers that I really love, and it's called Earth in Reverse. One morning, I decide to spin backwards around the sun, says Earth, one step behind another, behind another. I watch the chipper dance of human beings in reverse. Fork by fork, I watch these graceful creatures pull meat from their mouths and plate them and knife them whole. Bucket loads of tuna moving backwards in the fisherman's boat remember how to breathe, and the gasping fish spool in to swim on and live their lives. And human beings, one step behind another, behind another, are the heroes of Earth. Axes like tree-erecting wands, harpoons like band-aids, bombs and guns like surgeons extracting shrapnel and mushroom fire. Such superior intellect, one step behind another, behind another, walking my soil. It always comes back to the soil, says Earth. Flybys unpoison the crops, which unkill the animals and untumor the children, and hospitals release them all into parking lots. Moving backwards in their vehicles, they remember how to breathe, swim on and live their lives. Inside the mouth cheeks of human beings, I see tongues word by word in reverse. Earth as hetre and tree as irt when you say it backwards. Soldiers escorting citizens to their rightful homes, but human beings barefoot one step behind another, behind another, across the bedroom carpet, have their pleasures to pursue. The unrumpling of underwear leg by leg, the fingers help it thigh high over the smooth or hairy face of the ass. This is the only animal that does this, says Earth. First with the mouth, then the hands. The cupping, strapping, click of fastenings. The garment by garment dressing of the waist and torso. The slipping on of fabrics, the shirting, zippering. The loop by loop buttoning, belting, skirting. The more mouth smothering of the lips until both parties are fully clothed and embraced for the first time. Of perspiration and recollection, they meet in each other's hair, of fingertips, separate. Earth as hetre, tree as eart.